you know, I, yours truly, and Brad Xenix, you, you, you've already known me from, from the Xomorphic News program, but, but now, but, but tonight, I'm posting the first of a new series called Online Character Insights, in which I, yours truly, I, I interview some of the greatest online characters that uh, we could afford to get on soon. And I'm sad to say that for our first episode, I'm going to be interviewing one of my top five least favorite fictitious online characters, Kirk the Jerk. Hmm. See, so, 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 Kirk, first question is, what made you decide to get online? None of your beach rats, bad Xenix. How rude. Thank you. Well, 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 I guess you're not completely rude. Anyway. See. Anyway, wait, anyway, I'd like to know. How is a joke like you get your own online series? It's none of your beast ranks either. And the real question is, how is a butt muncher like you get your own channel? Hmm. Well, it, 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 for, for, for some reason, a lot of people on the stuff want to know. What was your favorite year in school? Oh, my favorite year in school was the, my third year in seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. That was a much better year than the other ones, because my teachers were a lot better than the ones before that. But by my second year, I had this te my English teacher with nine fingers and the math teacher with with, with, with one mouth. <laughs> and then, then the year before that, seventh grade, I had some really insufferable teachers. Yeah. It, 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 like the gym teacher always said, please and thank you, and the helmet teacher who made us wash our hands all the time and eat healthy. <coughs> yeah. But. But my third year was the best year of seventh grade. After that, I only repeated seventh grade one more time. And a lot of people on staff want to know. For some reason, I don't really want to know why, but they want to know a little bit about your personal life. Yeah, you know my right. personal life, you pea brain idiot. It's okay, I'm too, my personal life. I've only been married once, and divorced once. And I have, I have four children, all of whom have different mothers. Yeah. My life is terrible. I got a hideous family, and I live in a town of idiots. Yeah, I'm only satisfied when I'm the center of a tenth of butt brain. But, but tonight's not going to be so bad. I'm going to sleep with two beautiful women tonight, and you can't have either of them. Well, you know, I don't, I don't think I would want to sleep with any women who would sleep with you anyway. You, you say you wouldn't want to sleep with the kind of people I sleep with, or that you're not good enough to sleep with them. Yeah, because you know, you know what? You can't do anything, right? Because this is my show. Yeah. Actually, this is my show. In fact, I gotta like know what you always wear that hat for, huh? You have? Are you bald or something? Yeah. The real question is. But yeah, I'm thinking, what's up with that stupid catchphrase of yours? Like, I guess truly, what is that? It's my catchphrase. Yeah. Anyway, the orange one I had, will you please take it off? What? How dare you? I meant the hat, stupid. I wear my hat to look punk. Ain't right? This hat makes me look punk. Uh -huh. I don't want to take it off. But if I do take it off, you might shut up. So, see, it. this is what I learned about my hat. Oh no. We look, without your hat, we look similar. It's an embarrassment. I was about to say the same thing. Embarrassing, ain't it? 
But anyway, that's the interview. I, yours truly, am Brad Xenix. And this, yours truly, was Quick the Jerk. And next time on Online Character Insights, I'll be interviewing a much better online character, Professor Nonsense. Oh, you're being that pea-brained idiot nonsense. Good luck to you. I'll see you then.